Technology continues to affect all aspects of our lives, from the games we play to the way we conduct business. And nowhere is this more apparent than in the financial industry. Electronic fund transfers, money transfers completed without the use of traditional checks, present unique circumstances for our institutions. As such, customers need to know that their rights are protected. That's where Reg E, the Electronic Fund Transfer Act, comes in. Hello, sir. How may I help you today? Well, there's a problem with your ATM machine out there. Well, I'm sure we can sort this out. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, the ATM says that my account only has a balance of $15, but it's wrong. I know that account at least has $700 in it. Now, I'm on my way to my niece's birthday party, and I need more than $15. Please, can you get someone to correct the problem so I can withdraw the money I need? All right, sir. Um, can you tell me your account number, please? Yeah, sure. It's 444 It's inevitable. Errors will occur. It may be a system problem or a customer error. And when an error does occur, Reg E requires specific actions to be taken to resolve the issue as quickly as possible. For situations like Mr. Mullins, Congress passed the Electronic Fund Transfer Act in 1978. A few years later, in 1980, the Federal Reserve Board issued Regulation E. Specifically, Reg E provides certain protections to customers' personal checking and savings accounts when electronic fund transfers, EFTs, are used. Reg E covers ATM transactions, point-of-sale debit card transactions, direct deposits, and pre-authorized recurring withdrawals, like mortgage payments. Reg E also includes transfers initiated by telephone and electronic check conversions like ACH, automated clearinghouse debits, which are initiated using the information on a check's MICR line. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about this. Uh, do you have any information that describes these services? Absolutely. Studies cite that more than 70% of the American workforce is paid through direct deposit, and these customers see direct deposit as a great benefit. In fact, there's a 97% satisfaction rate with direct deposit. You can't get much better than that. So it makes good sense to recommend direct deposit to your customers whenever possible. Now, when a customer is paid through direct deposit, in compliance with Reg E, certain notification procedures must be followed.